Candace Owens is now expecting second child. Political commentator Candace Owens announced that she is now expecting her second child with husband George Farmer. Owens, 32, shared the news on both Instagram and Twitter on Tuesday featuring photos of her and Farmer with their son. Family of four. Past July 2022, Owens wrote in her Twitter post. Do what you love and call it work. Throw a little money in the plate at church. Send your prayers up and your roots down deep. And add a few limbs to your family tree, she said on Instagram, in reference to the Jordan Davis song by Dirt. Owens had married Farmer, a British Oxford graduate, at Trump Winery in August 2019. She then gave birth to her first child on January 2021, only a year before the announcement of her pregnancy to a second. The conservative activist's announcement was met with praise by a variety of celebrity supporters. Awesome news. Congrats, Carrie Underwood's husband Mike Fisher commented. Love y'all so much. Beautiful family. Comma former The Voice contestant Raylan said. So excited, country music star Jason Aldean's wife Brittany added. I love this so much. Dot Aldean's sister Kazi Rosa said. Oh, congrats and buckle up. Comma Oliva Colpo's sister Aurora commented. Despite receiving controversy over her post, celebrity blogger Perez Hilton extended an apology for Owens and offered his congratulations. I disagree with you passionately on most everything, but I am saddened to see people sending nasty tweets about your happy news. Congratulations Candace, he tweeted. Wow, thank you to everyone for the many congratulations. Overwhelmed with all of the love shown to my family today. Deeply grateful for this life and the blessing of children, Owens tweeted in response. Owens had previously welcomed her first child in January 2021 which she said had shifted her focus and opinions. In a way, pregnancy has better focused me, many of these debates are no longer just political for me, they're personal, Owens told the Daily Wire. The stakes seem much higher when you are starting a family. You realize that whatever decisions we land upon as a society will have real implications for your child's future. Will my child grow up in the same America that I grew up in, with the same opportunities? I have a lot of anxiety about the answer to that question, which is being determined now. She also recalled how her stance on abortion had changed over the years, even describing the time she heard her son's first heartbeat. I transformed my program stance on abortion years ago when I learned the truth about the abortion industry, the abortion process, and most importantly, when I learned the truth about an infant's development in the womb, she said. I'll never forget the moment I heard my baby's heartbeat on the monitor for the first time at 11 weeks. It instantly brought tears to my eyes. It was just this sudden realization that I was carrying life and I would do anything and everything to protect that life. The technology of an ultrasound is so advanced that at 11 weeks there were little arms and little legs swimming on the monitor. In a profound moment like that, all of the political rhetoric and debate just fades away. I can only describe it as a moment of inexorable truth. It's powerful and transformative. Owens and Farmer got married eight months after they met at the launch of Turning Point UK, right-wing student group in the UK. The two reportedly got engaged over a FaceTime call after just two and a half weeks of dating. They tied the knot in front of a host of equally conservative guests, including actor John Boyd, radio host Larry Elder, Brexit Party leader Nigel Farage and Charlie Kirk, who founded right-wing Turning Point USA. In some images from their wedding day posted to social media, the couple thanked Derek Trump for the incredible venue and sunset in the captions, and revealed their simple white wedding cake was topped with a red Make Weddings Great Again hat, which guests also wore later in the evening. Eric Trump is the president of the winery, and oversees the company's winemaking, marketing and global distribution, according to the Trump Winery website. Pictures from their wedding show Owens in a traditional lace, floor-length white gown with sleeves. Her hair was tied back in a loose half-up, half-down style and she wore a long veil. After the ceremony she donned a red MAGA hat and her new husband wore a light blue Brexit party cap and smoked a huge cigar. Both Owens and Farmer are controversial figures. In the UK he's a vocal opponent of the EU and in the US Owens has come under fire for her comments on several political issues.
Owens has been no stranger to sharing her controversial opinions online with the web including the COVID vaccine, gender identity and her most recent support of rapper Kanye West's comments on young girls using social media. There is no 8-year-old in the world that needs social media. Go color, Owens tweeted on Friday. West thanked Owens for his support after he and his wife Kim Kardashian disagreed with one another on the subject. Kim is wrong on this one. The psychological effects of social media on young girls is real and documented. It's actually Kanye that is trying to protect his daughter in this regard and Kim is spinning this as obsession and control. There are other creative outlets for kids, she added. Thank you Candace for being the only noteworthy person to speak on this issue, West began his caption in all caps in an Instagram post shared Saturday. There's a lot of celebrities scared to say something in public but they'll text me in private and say they're on my side. I will no longer put my hand through a blender to hug my children.